that we drove an hour and a half to see a rock. To come see a rock. We got up and have driven an hour and a half to go see a rock. To see a rock. We've never been in Kansas, so we are out floating through the grasslands uh, and the prairie areas of Kansas and uh, riding some dirt roads and looking at some historical markers and things like that. And we'll take you along for the ride. This is Teeter Rock. Evidently, according to what we have been able to research and find out, Teeter Rock originally was placed here in between 1870 and 1890 because the settlers that were moving west continually got lost looking for the river, evidently this close by here. And this is the highest point of land. There used to be a big pile of rocks. And when the oil boom town came around and you'll see in the footage there's lots of oil wells and stuff out here they took the pile of rocks and helped build one of the local towns that's kind of around here so in 1950 they stood up what is currently here and now uh, and the family did in honor of James Teeter and what he had done during the 1800s to help people uh, navigate across the plains because I'm telling you, without any roads or anything around here at GPS, it wouldn't be real hard to get lost out here, without a doubt. It is a uh, wide open spaces. And you see folks, this is why we can't have nice things. People leave trash on the ground. These folks that own this property are nice enough to let us, you know, come out here, visit, see the teeter rot, take, you know, and take pictures and do that kind of thing. But yet people leave trash here. Pick up your trash, pack it in, pack it out. <laughs> That's a nice rock. Well, it's at least it's dry. got a at least it's got a history behind it. Although I have never been in territory like this, this is quite pretty out here. I mean, there's nothing here. Holy crap! I can tell you one thing though: that dirt road coming in <laughs> is better than some of the interstates. Without a doubt, we have a decided, lot of the interstates. <laughs> we have decided that that whoever takes care of that road could give a lot of lessons to the people that work on the interstates. Without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, no, that road was actually halfway decent to be a dirt road. We are north, kind of in the outside of, we're kind of northeast of El Dorado is where we're at. A place called Teeter Rock. So or you can Teeterville. At, or in, yeah, Teeterville. I haven't so, found the ville yet. Yeah, we're going to go look for the ville and see if we can find it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next adventure. All right, so we've come back out from the rock, made it to the end of the little road that it's on, and we have come to a juncture here, and yeah, we don't know whether which way to go. To go back the way that we came, which was 10 miles of dirt road, it's 9.7 miles, excuse me, of dirt road, or do we continue down said dirt road to an unknown destination, hence our name, but it seems like, well, it goes off into the horizon. We can't even see the other end of the dirt road. We need to find us some lunch. I guess we're going to find us something to eat. All right then, let's see what we can find. So evidently my dog is dying. He, when we ride in the Jeep, there's not enough room, so he has his harness on, and his harness is anchored in the back, which means he can't come all the way up in the front and get out the window like he used to. So if y'all are ever near us, he's not dying. He sounds like he's dying, but he's not. I promise. <laughs> Well, the next adventure was going to be <laughs> the Fromm uh, Stone Arch Bridge. 
find it on the internet, look like something good to do. Of course, this is Kansas, and everything's a freaking hour away from each other. So it's been an hour <laughs> since we last saw you. So we get here, and I'll show you some pictures, some video of it. It's all grown up. There's no way to see it. Now, we found it. It's here. And we can tell that it's an arched bridge, but you can't hardly see it for all the weeds that have just about grown over the top of it. It's almost just a little small two-track farm road that goes to it. So yep. see what we can find out. It's getting late in the day. It's time to start making our way toward the house. So, Well, as you can see, it's quite grown over. It goes straight up a hill. I can't really get a look at it. So I'm going to get out here and see if I can find a way to... Uh, show y'all what I was trying to see. If not, I'll just have to put a picture on it. Oh, wait a minute. I can see a little bit of it here. Thank you. 